Here's how to make a note card on Noodle Tools. I'm on my project list right now and I'm working on a paper on digital addiction. So I'm going to open it up and um, you can see from my dashboard that I have one source done for my bibliography. When you're making a note card, it's best to start right from the source. So I clicked on my, my bibliography and opened that entry. And I'm going to open up the web link so that I can have the source right open right next to um, my note card. To start my note card, I'm going to click on New under Note Card. Before I begin my note card, I should look over my source again. My source is on if Google is replacing the human memory. And when I look it over, I can see that um, this section right here about how researchers in America discovered that many of us actively don't bother to let something sink in if we know we can look it up online later. Instead, we use the web as our external memory just as we might use an external hard drive on a computer to store data. It goes on to say that psychologists from Harvard University, the University of Wisconsin, go Badgers, and Columbia University carried out tests on that compared how well participants remembered something with how well they knew where to find it on the internet. It says the results showed that when faced with a gap in our knowledge, we are primed to turn on the computer to rectify the situation. And those who expect to have continuous internet access are better at remembering where they can find things rather than recalling the information itself. Hmm, this seems like it shows that the internet is changing our brain. And that's something that I wanted to show in my paper. So I'm going to copy the information that I want to put in my paper. Up here on my note card, it asks me for a short phrase that reminds me of the content of the note card. The content shows that the internet changes our memory. And I'm not going to do a pile and I'm not going to put the URL in because I have that link already here. It's open right there. And I'm not ready to put any tags on. I don't see any need to do that. What I'm going to do is paste the information right here. And then I am going to scroll down so that I don't look at it while I rewrite the quotation by restating the idea in my own words. There may be some times where I have to use the exact words of the card. and In those cases, I'm going to use quotation marks. So if I look back up here, one more time, I should be very familiar with it before I start writing it in my own words. All right, I think I'm ready. Scientists from Columbia, well, maybe I'll start with the Badgers. Scientists from the University of Wisconsin, Columbia University, and Harvard teamed up to do a study to show how the internet affects human memory. According to an article in, where did I get this article again, the Daily Mail, The study showed that people want to forget information until it is needed. At that point, 
they expect to be able to retrieve it online. It is as if the internet is an extension of the brain. Let's see. It says right here, compare your paraphrase to the quote. Does my restatement mirror the entire idea? I gotta look at that again. I like this part down here where it says, those who expect to have continuous internet access are better at remembering where they can find things out than at recalling information itself. The reason I'm really interested in this is because it might explain why I'm forgetting so much lately. So, um, I will say the study showed that the more access people have to online information, the less likely they are to commit things to, no, they, less likely they are to remember information. My ideas. Down here on this part of the note card, we're supposed to interpret and evaluate and reflect on what we've just learned. I am going to say something that is very honest here. Um, this troubles me. I think there could be consequences for learning. Memory is a part of learning and we need to be able to remember to do well in school and in our future employment. Not bad for thinking on the fly. I am done now and I have one note card. If I want to look at it again I can show it and there it is right there. Each part of the note card is color coded and um, it is connected clearly to this source and that's really important. So make sure that when you make a note card you go right from your bibliography. If I wanted to do another one I would click on new right here. I would not go up to note cards up here. Because if I did, that note card would not be connected to a source.